Welcome back, everyone. This has been extremely long. Extremely long. Um, primarily because this tractor is a little underpowered for this. And when it gets to the top there, look how, look how long it's taking to turn around. Uh, we're in the final stretch here. And fortunately, we got long runs now, so it's going to speed up a little bit. There's going to be less turns, but when we were doing this section over here, it was painful to watch. <laughs> Anyways, I didn't want you guys to have to enjoy that in quotes. Um, but uh, yeah, we've been plugging away at it. I did, you know, fair amount of fair amount of loads. Uh, let's have a look at the production right now. Where are we? Potato chips. So we've got 63,000 liters of potatoes in there. And we're going to have probably, oh, I want to say maybe another 20 or 30. Um, yeah, where's my, there it is. This is almost, it's 70%, so it's almost full. Not a problem going downhill. Uh, it harvests at the normal 10 kilometers an hour, but the uphill gets down to about five five kilometers an hour, and then the turnaround is is painful. It's absolutely painful up at the top here, of course. So, yeah, yeah, turnaround. So I'll have to figure out another way to set up my course next time we harvest, or maybe we should just move off of this specific specific field for potatoes and do potatoes somewhere else, maybe? I don't know, we can, I, I kind of feel like we can never have enough. I put in a few hedges. I wanted to put in fences, but look, uh, hedges, they can drive through them. I wouldn't have that problem. I w you know, if it was fences, I would, they wouldn't be able to do that. Um, so we'll just roll with that for now. I'll keep decorating little bits and pieces here and there. So we're already 83%. All right, so something else I did off camera. I cleared trees. I cleared a bunch of trees, opened up this whole area here. I think I'm going to get grab some more over here. I think we're going to clear this out so we have a full view. And then maybe a few more here. I'm not sure, though. We'll see. I kind of like, I don't want to get rid of all the trees. So that's done, and then back here, I'm at the market stand, um, I cleaned this up, got rid of a couple of trees here as well, and opened this up because right now we're going to put in our donut shop. I've got a dilemma, let me look at this real quick, same stuff as last time. Uh, production and it is not far here it is confiteria now i don't know what the difference is between this one and the other building that's exactly the same that makes donuts so we're about to find out uh 104 103 i think we're gonna plop it right here we have to um Drop off on the side, but pick up around the back. So I'm going to make sure I accommodate for that. Yeah, let's go with that. Boom. I flattened it out a bit, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. This is... Oh, gross. Okay, I'll have to, uh, I'll have to be careful with this. Ugh. What the heck? Okay. And then over here, I've still got a bit more... Uh-oh. I might have to redo this, guys. Let's see. Let's have a look real quick. I thought I flattened out a good area. Maybe I just didn't place this right. Uh, let's break that down one, one level. This might be okay. I mean, it's not going to be terrible one way or another, but yeah, I don't know what's around there. Let's see if this helped any. It didn't. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll maybe try to work with it, but worst case scenario, I'll, I'll destroy it and re re reinstall it. Look at that bump there. Oh, that's the way it's supposed to be, I think. This side's not bad. 
but okay. Let me think about that one. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm gonna redo it. Okay, we're full over there, so let's deal with that first. I still have, after that 40,000, I still have uh, 18, 19,000 bucks left, which isn't bad. I've decided uh, we've crossed the 25 episode th threshold, and um, I've decided to loosen up a couple of the rules. Uh, two rules in particular. One is uh, the uh, one episode, one month uh, concept. Uh, we're going to throw that out the window now. Uh, we might do multiple episodes for one month, or we might do multiple months for one episode. We'll see. We'll see how things go. Uh, I'm not going to keep to that restraint. And the other one is the collectibles. I'm just going to go ahead and collect them whenever I can. Whenever I'm reasonably close to some, I'll go get them. I, I know where some are. I think there's a lot more on here than I thought, though, so I probably don't know where a lot of them are. Oh, yeah. Let's dump this, and then we'll go fix up that that donut shop. I don't like it. I gotta redo it. How's everybody doing today? Okay, you can stay here for now. Basically 11,000, so we're 74, it's 11,000 per load, but we should be pretty good. I've got more oil I need to get out though, um, but there's flour in the way, and that's why I want to build this. Um, let's turn that off for now. Let's do some fence walking. I'm an expert. Watch this. There we go. Jump. Okay. Um, yeah, I want to get this going because I need to get the flour in here. And that's a bit of a problem right now. Uh, flowers kind of in the way. So I'm going to... Let's do this all over again. Do a better. Better this time. Um, destroy. I'll do that before I put anything in there. And we are going to level... I think I might be having problems because of the trees. Trees are there. I might have to cut out some more trees. Yeah, man. Let's have a look at this. What does this look like? Oh, it's still a bit of a mess. Okay, so this tree's a problem. Let's let's do this. You're gone. Oh, see that go flying? And I'm also going to get rid of... We're going to clear up some trees here. We'll come and, and sell them in a minute. And... Oh, I kind of want to keep this one, though. Did clear up quite a bit more room over here. I want to keep that one, so... Let's get rid of this guy. Now these are the easy to limb types. I don't know if it really makes difference in selling these types of trees, but we'll get our portable little selling point. Which has been, you know, a real blessing, to be honest. Very realistic, though. But, eh. What can you do? I just don't want to do hardcore. Um, lum lumberjacking on this series. That is 1224 for that one. 677 for that one.
and 689 for that one okay let's see if this makes any sense i did clear out the middle trees i don't know if anybody noticed that so let's go back to flattening again there we go that should be a lot better but we're going to go over a little bit more to the left here yeah yeah, we'll do some smoothing, probably. Let's do that now. Let's smooth this out a bit. Yes, we can. Okay, now let's try this. Alrighty then. Now, one of the challenges that I'm having We'll put this over here a bit more. We might replant some trees afterwards, so that'll be fine once, you know, we do them after. So, oh, the land just moved again. What the heck? Ugh, this is rough. This is tough going, guys. I don't know why it's hard placing stuff here. Okay, that's not terrible. I just need to be able to get back in here, which is a little bit of a problem, so I might have to stretch this out a little bit to pick up pallets. That's a problem. Okay, anyways, we'll, we'll figure that out. I'll decorate that in a little bit. Uh, but I'm going to assume that it's, we're all good. So, let's have a look at this. Uh, donuts, just plain straight up donuts. 360 cycles per month. And I hate that you can't see this in the shop. You know, like, not in the shop, but when you're setting up the production. You can't see this ahead of time. you got to drop it down to do it. So, um, eggs, we got some coming. Flour, we have lots, not a problem. Our big problem now is sugar. And I had to poke around. I don't know if you guys know whether there's a... Uh, oh, look at this. It really messed up the road. Jeez. Okay. Make some changes. Um, I don't know if you guys know of a small um, sugar uh, production that uses sugar cane. Um, I can't find one. I can't find one. I can find small ones. They need they need sugar beet though. Uh, but sugar cane, I have to get the big, big gnarly factories. They're expensive and they take up a lot of room. So that's a problem. All right, let's go. I think this guy's gonna be ready to unload very soon. Let's go unload again, and then we'll get working on. Uh, moving flour over. Oh, that trailer's going to be in the way, isn't it? Maybe. I'll use this one. Now, I made a decision with regards to grass. I am going, the next piece of land we buy is going to be a very large uh, grass base field. And I think it's going to be the one north of our two far fields over there. Um, we need we need high output. You know, we need money. We need a lot more money, I think. I, I'm kind of feeling now like I really want to get the money just flowing in. I've been watching other, other series on this challenge. And uh, my money's flowing kind of slow compared to them, so... Um, I mean, everybody's doing it different, which is fine. It's not a problem at all. Um, it's just that I'm feeling a little jealous. I want more money. I want to develop faster. There's some really cool farms that have been built up. Okay, we're full here. This is why bushes are better than fences. 
Okay, let's get that going. We'll jump over to this guy. I did move some stuff around, so I moved the fabric over here. I got uh, eggs. Where did I put them? I put them over... They're right over there. So I've got a full pallet of eggs there. That was going to... Actually, why don't we do that right now? eggs. Sorry, I just got interrupted. Let's, uh... It's not much, really. I'm kind of, uh, wondering if that chicken pen is going to be enough to sustain our production. But we'll see. We're at max chickens, so this is going to be as much as, you know, we can produce. Oh boy, look at this. Look at this. I messed it up again. Oh, why did that happen? I'm probably going to change the road. I think that's the change I'll make. I'll move the road over so it's a T instead of this triangle thing. That might solve a fair amount of our problems, but we're going to we're going to try to work with this now. All right, eggs are going in. The only thing we're going to have a shortage of is sugar right now, so, but at least we'll be able to get, um, we'll get the flour out of the way. It's bottlenecking. Actually, we should, you know what we should do? You know what we should do? Uh, where are we? Sorghum flour. Distributing. Why not, right? And canola oil. Why don't we have that as distributing as well? Why did it just drop, though? Oh, because it popped out because I said that to distributing. Okay, I got it. I got it. I understand now. Maybe. Actually, I'm not sure if that makes sense. We'll find out. So we've got some flour here. This shouldn't stack, but it does. We may gonna do it properly. go and I'm gonna tempt fate by picking up the third one there we go build that back a little bit all right and that should end the um, need to pick up pallets there in theory. There we go. There's a the flower. All right, let's have a look at this real quick. I don't know what happened here. I don't know if I accidentally sold a whole bunch of it by mistake. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we don't have, um, we've got a bit of flour, so it hasn't come over yet. 
So, okay. All right. Sounds good. What are we doing with our? Yeah, we'll make a road right right through here. We'll fix that up. That's gonna take a little bit of little bit of fooling around with, so I'll do that probably off camera. Uh, fabric is another thing that I need to sort out, but turn that off. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking we're going to do with sugar, because I really can't find anything better. Um, I think we're going to have to go with one of these beasts. I mean, it's just this huge thing, but I don't know where to put it. I could... It's somewhat flat here. I could get rid of some of this potato fields. But I'd have to flatten a bit. Um, I really would like to kind of expand. Like, I don't know. Maybe if I flattened an area here, I could set this up. That might be a good option. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. It's going to take a little bit of landscaping, but i have to figure that out. But that's 80,000 um, that I'll need for this. And then we'll be able to start making donuts. But I'll need to sort it out uh, before sugarcane is ready. I got a lot of stuff to buy. A lot of it. Um, I'm going to have to buy either bigger harvesters or more harvesters. And let's get going. How's that? Why is that 81 when it was 80 just five minutes ago? Okay, I'll figure it out. Okay, let's just jump over. What do I want to do next? I want to go to. I put the speed up. No, I didn't. I gotta get that mod installed for this series. Let's me run faster. How's this? This is almost ready. It's gonna be more income. But we're gonna go find find at least one more cartridge today. Maybe two. We'll go hunting. Just get out. Do something different. So we've got a while to go. This is only uh, growth stage three of seven. So it's going to be, we've got some time. Um, but that means our donuts aren't producing for a while, which is kind of sad because I need money. I need money, guys. So why don't we go ahead and what do I want to do now? Let's, uh, let's unload this guy. Maybe we'll go for a drive. We'll take uh, maybe the John Deere. Okay. See how long this is taking? It's just, it was like, I ran it for like three hours, I think. Uh, just getting the top, the uh, one side of the, that done. So, we need to make some adjustments. It's fine. It's a lot better than the first time around, let me tell you that, though. Okay, let's go for a spin. See if we can find a game cartridge or six. I know where two are, for sure. After that, I'm kind of lost. And I'm gonna drive over. I wonder if there's one in that intersection just down there. Now what I could do is I could go out and buy some sugar. That would be an option. Just to get things going. I'll think about that. Okay, let's check here. No. Oh, I didn't see one anyway.
kind of decided I'm probably going to stay away from this piece of land here. I originally wanted to buy it, but... Yeah. Let's see if we can snag two, two cartridges. Let's see if we can put it in that sugar mill. Okay, so I think there's one down. There's probably one in this intersection, maybe. I won't look for that quite yet. Now, the reason I know where these are is because I've been watching the other series, other people's series. And I believe Rusty Money Gaming spotted one over here. He's set up over here somewhere. I think there's one here. There it is. And then the other one is way up north. We'll head up. Um, I spotted it while watching uh, Mrs. Sim Gamer on her series, and I don't think she spotted it, but I did. So I don't know if she's using collectibles on her series or not. I've watched some of the episodes, but I I, 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 um, I can't keep up with all, and there's so many of them right now. drive by these cluster here is this these clusters is that seems like a logical place to find some right matter of fact we might get out at this one feeling lucky sometimes you just hit the no, I guess not. Sometimes you just hit the R key. And you get it. You don't see it, but you get it. Okay. No luck there. There might be one in there. Just, uh, I don't want to spend too much time fooling around. Okay, so up by the original farm, and there might actually be more than one up here, but... Uh, up by the original farm, there is a, uh, we'll call it a culvert. I'm going to go up there and see if I can snag something from over there. That tunnel looks suspicious too. I think that's the edge of the map, so I don't think you can actually go in there. Okay, I think it's down... Where is it? I think it's right up here. I thought I saw it here. It's not here. Oh no. Oh no. Maybe it's further over here somewhere. There it is. Okay, there's one. Okay, so that's um, there. The road is here. I'm going to run over here. I don't know, for some reason I feel like there might be one here. Oh, you can go in here. Oh, oh no, not too far. Okay. Okay, maybe there isn't one there. All right, where's my tractor? There's probably, I'm thinking there's probably one up by the actual farm over there, but it won't take too many. 
Okay, I'm heading back to the farm. I'll see you guys there in a minute. It's enough for us to get some work done today. All right, let's get back to work. We're almost, almost full again. I don't know if there's much left to be done. Actually, that might be the last, last pass. We might be done after this. Of course, I forgot to set the clock again. Let's have a look real quick while we're waiting. Um, do we need, I think we got all the fertilizing up to speed. These guys, this one's coming up real soon. That's our um, wheat, which, you know, this, this actually creates a new problem that I have to deal with, but uh, fertilization looks really good for everything, everything that we have. So I'm very happy, but we're gonna have to redrill this. I need to think about this one. I might not redrill this uh, this month. I'm thinking of maybe changing the potato field somehow. Um, yeah, I kind of want a field similar to this for potatoes. So it might, we might actually slice off a section of this as well. But we'll see, maybe we'll chip away at this field. So it's an east-west kind of thing, so no uphill, downhill, and uh, that might work better than up here. We can, you know, start doing something else up here, but I might cut it off so that I have some more flat space to work with for the farm. Well, I think there's one more turn after this. There we go. Yeah, I think there's one more, one more turn to do. And we'll be, we'll be in great shape. I don't know how far along the other potato field is. Oops. Peas, okay. Eh, it's coming along. Not too bad, midway. Probably. Okay, jump back to productions real quick. Um, so the flower still has not distributed. Why is it not distributing? Maybe it only does it every hour. It should jump right up. And canola oil is um, distributing, and I have no more canola to make more, but we're getting some soon. I'm not too worried about that. Silage, let's deactivate for now. Wool is doing okay, I'll, I'll reload that. Okay. Let's do a little landscaping. I'm going to jump over. I'll leave this here unfinished. Let's jump over here. And then we're going to, I guess I should stand up here. Landscaping. And this is where it's going to get a little tricky. I have to figure out Oh, there's a tree there. That's not going to work. Is this one I can pick up? Yeah, small enough I can pick it up. Let me put that out of the way here. Uh, where is it? Where is it? There it is. Come on. I'll just put it here. Okay. So I have to figure out what the right level is um, that I should start from. And I feel like it should be equal to here. Maybe this is the level that I start from. I just make like another plateau. I'm going to have to dig into part of this and maybe raise a bit of this. So let's dig in. Uh, where are we? 
I'm upside down. Where am I? Here I am. Okay. So we decided we're going to start with this. So I need kind of a, like a bit of a road in here. And then I'll build the plateau. So we're going to flatten starting from here. Because this piece of the road is going to be a bit higher than here. So it's going to get a little weird. So I think I'm going to go up one size. And we're going to do something like this. This is where it's going to get... Fortunately, I should zoom in a bit. Let's see how much it's digging in now. I want to keep going in. Maybe make the, the rock wall go all the way down. And perhaps a bit further right here. I don't know if this is going to be an upper room. I sure hope it is. Let's go out a little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Coming out here, flat. That looks okay. We can put more rock base on there. I could probably go back in a bit further. Here looks good. And then we've got a bit of a cliff here. I need to flatten this out a bit. So we're going to take this, we're going to bring that out proper. Just make it more uniform. And this over here, I suggested maybe going in a bit more. There we go. That should be good. How's this looking? I want to go out more. Okay. Next. Uh, let's paint this up. We'll start with something so we can just see better. What we're dealing with. This kind of gives us an idea of our working area. There, let's do that for now. Seems to be a dimple there. That's not good. Sculpting. Why is that not flattening out? Kind of weird. Oh, there's another one there. Oh, what the heck is this? Okay. Right there. Oh no. Don't tell me I'm going to have a weird thing. That won't go down. No. No. Okay. Well, that's going to impact things. Uh, where's the other divot? Okay, all right, enough screwing around with this. This is a problem. We'll, we'll get creative with that. Okay, let's get out of here. And let's plop down a sugar mill. There's a couple of options. Uh, ultimately, they're all huge. Uh, some Actually, one of them is really huge. So I kind of wanted to do this, but that piece of land there is, might be a problem. See that? Um, 
Do I, is there a rear? Oh my goodness. I don't have enough room for this here. Oh boy. Um, so the rear is the drop off. The front is the pallets. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's look for an alternative. There are alternatives, but they're really big. Like, they're uh, huge. Um, give me a second, I'll find it. Okay, so here's another one, which is way too big. But we're going to have to make this work somehow. Um, unless I change the road. Maybe I could change the road. I don't like doing that, though. For some reason, I, I hesitate to change the way roads are. Ah, oh boy. Sugar mill. Um, what if we do this? Where's that goopy thing? I mean, you know, part of it is I don't need to distribute. I don't need to pick up the pallets. I'll just set them on distribute. Um, well, like this, I know this is kind of silly. Ah. Sorry, guys, this is taking me a bit. I might be editing some of this out. Okay. This sucks. This totally sucks. I don't know why I can't lower this, um, but... Nah, I think we'll try to get creative with it. I think I may fill in all of this back up to smooth it out and maybe make a little rock wall here or something. I've made enough room that I think I can get around. I, th I can probably stretch this out a little bit more so that I can drive around. And then this here, I can do pickups. I'm awfully close to the field, though, so I'm going to have to be careful with my harvesters. I may clip off a bit of the field. We'll see. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. This is challenging. Why did it do that? That one, that one can be repaired. Okay. Let's see if we can... I got a place. It took me a little while. to uh, edit out a bunch of stuff. I don't think I can go much further with those trees there. I need to get rid of the trees first, I think. I just need to get around this corner, really. I think I might be able to get around here with a trailer. Oh, that's a problem. Are we having fun yet? Are we having fun yet? We're going to do asphalt here. Just because... Just because... Well, I want to. Oops, I'll have to pick some of that up. Let's jump out a little bit. Okay, guys, this is a guide on how not to do land terraforming. Okay. I'm going to finish up. I'm going to try to fix this up the ground so it kind of matches up with this. Well, I'll deal with that off camera. I guess that's enough terraforming work for you guys. But there we go. We have a sugar mill. It's much bigger than I really want. Uh, this has to be fixed some more. 
Uh, it's much bigger than I really want, but it's it's going to do what we need it to do. All right, where am I? I have no idea how long this episode is going to be because I it'll that length. Uh, I'm going to probably edit out a ton. And there we go. Oh, that one's back tip. Okay, so um, let's leave that there for now. What do we have in here? Okay, so we got 104,000 liters of, of potatoes and only 5,000 liters, 5,400 liters of, of um, canola oil. So that's going to be coming up as an issue. Now I need to figure out how to get more money so that I can get uh i want to buy this field up here let's have a look real quick i want to buy this field field 15 which is 179,553 bucks i think i can reclaim a lot of that money just by one one silage run on here however um i don't want to use my current um uh, harvester to do that i want to get a proper mower and a bale uh, a bale solution with wrapping and all that fun stuff so that's going to cost money just for that um so i'll have to figure that out that's why i'm not feeling too shy about going to grab cartridges so we can expand this one then maybe this one um yeah i'm not sure where else we would want to go after that Maybe we keep going north. I don't know. Maybe we'll eventually buy this, but yeah, we'll see. Okay, so. So, what's on the agenda right now? There's not a lot of field work to do. Uh, I could get. I have to cultivate this field now. And I think we'll get little guy to do this and uh, the cultivator is where did I put the cultivator too big for the sheds I don't remember where I put my cultivator what the what oh it's in here could be in there. There it is. Hmm. Look at this. Somebody came by and changed the sign in here. Season two pass. Go wheel pack. Barely used it. Machines to rule the mountains. Barely used it. Kubota. Uh, no, was it Kubota? I forget. Barely used it. Barely used it. And the expansion. Not impressed. So they didn't come up with a year three pass. Um, I would probably not have bought it anyway. I bought season one, season two, but this this year season two was really underwhelming. I think this was a hay and forage pack, maybe. Uh, I forget which one's which. Okay. Let's get this started. Uh, we're gonna have to put in some more. I think. I think we'll put in more potatoes, uh, just to get it done. Um, we'll decide after that harvest what we're doing with this land. But I'll just figure out a different way to harvest it. So let's set up a course for this. We'll do uh, two headlands. 
Okay, that's good. Let's get that cultivated. There we go. All right, let's get this guy out of the way. Get this folded up, start thinking about our sheds. Need more, a lot more, but I'm kind of out of flat land, so that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? There we go. Okay, um, why don't I... Oh, you know what I should do? More money. Um, I'll do a couple of things. I forgot that I actually have a fair amount of sorghum in my in my um, silo that I, I need to transfer over to the flour uh, flour mill. But I need water as well. It feels like forever since I last got water. Uh, I need it for the sheep. Um, yeah, I think I need to go back down there. Got a few obstacles since the last time I went down. Let's maybe go this way. I gotta fix up the grass a little bit here. Maybe put a hedge. That would be nice down here, wouldn't it? get some water already had a little bit in there didn't really notice that there we go okay what time of year is it it's August what's uh, what's the price on fabric where is the fabric? There we go. Oh. Oh, yeah, we should definitely sell this. Uh, what's the peak price? Oh, no, we should definitely not sell this. We are August. We need to go to April. Yeah, I think we'll hang on to it. There's a, that's a huge difference from where we are. We got excited there. Alright, we'll run and do maybe another load off camera. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do now is... Uh, how are we doing for time? I actually don't know how we're doing for time. What, uh, because I'm gonna be editing a bunch of stuff out. I was cursing at the, uh, the land over by the sugar mill. Um... So we probably have a bit more time. So how about if, uh, well, let's just jump over and we'll rest. I'll let the, you know, I'll let the, um, the cultivating finish. I know it's kind of weird to let them run and go to bed, but let's do that. Just to move stuff ahead. Uh, eight. Yeah, that's fine. In the summer, we move into September, I think it is. Oh boy. We got a sheep pellet problem. Good morning, everybody. And we almost have another pellet of eggs. Yeah, I guess that's a thing now. My sheep uh, can't let them load up too much. There's, there's a lot of sheep now, right? So. Uh, let's get this down a bit. Uh, 
Now, I think we've got... Do we have a field to harvest yet? Yeah, we've got our, our wheat is ready to harvest. We're going to do well with our, with our fabric when next year comes around. I know you can make clothes, which is really lucrative. Um... Well, maybe we'll get on that before, like, instead of selling the fabric. But I forget what the price for clothes is. But I think it's, like, really, really good. And I think right now that's kind of my focus, is I should be focusing on big money. I spend a lot of time focusing on nice farm, you know? How to make my farm nice and... But, uh, yeah, we'll do that. Might as well grab some of these and bring them back, right? Yeah, man. this product because this makes nice colorful palettes. Like a rainbow. Okay. And one more load of wool. We're really not going up to the top very often, but uh, with the wheat, uh, what, what time of year? September. It's not a great time to sell wheat. Yeah, we're probably putting it in the silo. I feel like I'm harvesting a lot and just putting it away and not, not actually making money with it. <laughs> so, I'm sure we've got some potato clips now. That's probably a lot. Of, there's probably a lot now, so that's money. Where's, where's the best price to sell that? Uh, potato chips, uh, Silver Run Market's the best price right now, and it's kind of peak, so. So, I don't know how many pallets I have, though, but I should probably sell that, right? Well, apparently I got lots of pallets. What do we have here? Let's just have a look. Um, we've got, what is this? This is 1,000 plus there's another 6,000. So we've got like 14 pallets to load up. So that's going to be a chore. Um, yeah, I'll do that next episode, I think. We'll just let it build up a bit. Let's turn this off because that's going to be a thing to do. This guy's going to be finished soon. We'll get potatoes going back in there soon. Yeah, we've got a lot, a lot to do for the next episode. Um, the wheat's got, wheat's got to come out, but I got a problem. I, 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 before we sign off, let's just talk about that for a second. So I don't have a forage harvester and there's going to be a lot of straw there. That's, that's a problem that needs to be fixed. So I feel like I need to transition. Oops, let me jump in here. Oh, wait, any good deals? Mm, no, I don't really need that. Um, so here's what I want to do. I'm going to sell this guy, which is not a lot of money. I'm not going to get much back. But I need to buy a mower. So I think what I'm going to do is buy, where is it? I think I'm going to buy this kit. 120 plus 60, that's 180. Uh, so we should be fine with running this kit. This is 180 and that's 7.3, 8.3. So 
um, this is this is a better deal and it's cheaper. So I think we're going to buy this kit, um, and then I'm going to jump into Baylor's. I saw something really interesting, um, but it's really expensive. These things, these things here, 180 horsepower. It does the, the windrowing in front of the baler and bales. Square bales, though, um, which is fine. It's not a problem. Um, but I'll need a wrapper as well. But look at look at the price. That's not bad at all when you think about what it's doing. So I think we're going to run with one of these. So I need really... Um, I need like 150,000-ish. Uh, I'm going to need a wrapper that does square bales. And this does the big ones, 240. That's what I want. So for the wrappers, um, this one does not do 240. So it only goes to 220. So I have to dig in to this guy, I think. Yeah, this guy right here. Um, 150 horsepower. It does the biggest square bales. So we're looking at 200,000. I got to dig up 200,000 very soon. Very soon. So that is the dilemma. I forgot to turn that off. It'll be a challenge for next episode, guys, besides a lot of <laughs> cleaning up messes that I made trying to terraform stuff. Uh, I don't know, sometimes. Um, okay, thanks for watching. If you're enjoying this, please consider subscribing. I'll catch you guys in the next one, and I hope you have an awesome, awesome day.